Dere ke tese ba kase ke lebo ghe mo di mo ale khodi mo le le ke lebo ghe mo di mo ale khodi mo le le fati le ma boto ase mo le tati ne a refilen lo na bo pelo ba refilen le bo na mo hau wa ga go ore le kanin bo se go le mo tshegare e re ke tshegare e re ke tese ba kase ke lebo ghe bo mme ba ba leng ba leng teng mo maphelong a rona ba o ba leng mo mangoleng a bona re e re ke tese ba kase ke lebo ghe le le foko le ene mo dimo ka sebele a a mileng di pelo tsa rona ka lerato a re bona fato a re bona fa ditseng lone le kwalo la ntla re le bona mo bona mo go the second corinthians 10:3 to 6 ya mfela ka the spiritual obedience ja ka fruits of spirit re tla mo mo shong o montle wa le tsatsi modimo wa rona le tsatsi modimo wa rona re itse gore Jesu ke morena le mopholo mo pholosi wa matsholo a rona re tla mo go ena modimo wa rona re itse go ele kwadule modimo wa rona o buile ka botso shiwa Kriste Jesu gore re le boloke mo dipelong tsa rona re le rute ba o re phele rute ba o re phela le bona mo malapeng a rona bo se go le motho go le motshegare le fokola ga go le le phelang e leng ene krene a re tsamaisang bo se go le motshegare re a go le boga Kriste Jesu re bo lebogela maotlele botlhoko a gago a bona ga gago a bona khalang mo maphelong a rona motho ka lebaka la mokwalo modimo wa rona o o kwadileng modimo wa rona ke ba rumi wa Kriste Jesu ba o neng o na le pono le pelo modimo wa rona ka bona re tla mo gwena mo moshong o montlo a le tsatsi mo ena mo moshong o montlo a le tsatsi modimo wa rona le kwalo la bo bedi la era o o mo sha modimo wa rona ga itse sepe seo se direileng sa le rato ke ba rato ke ba hebe ro modimo wa rona le kwalo leo la ex exoda modimo wa rona ke le kwalo la phallo modimo ke le kwalo ke le kwalo le le fedisang di thoga ko le dintelo mo pele ga morafe wa gago Kriste Jesu o o tshepisitseng gore o tla ntsifala le foko modimo wa rona go ya ka bogosi bo gagae modimo le maatla a nang le one gore bana ba ba gore bana ba bangwe le ba bangwe wa mosimane ha a bela a belegwa ke ba sadi ba ba hebe re modimo o tla mo go bone Kriste Jesu the mip wife of the Egyptians iring shifra le puwa modimo wa rona puwa modimo wa rona o thosetsa mo ya o khalalelang bona modimo wa rona ba 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 ntlelwa ke maotlole botlhoko Kriste Jesu when they arrive on the footstool of labor to the Hebrew women Kriste Jesu mo ya o khalalelang wa ba se o khalalelang wa ba sebedisa modimo go nne metsama o ya gago menagano ya gago ga se menagano ya batho maotlole botlhoko a iponagatsa ka bona ha farao a ba bua farao a ba botsa gore gore lo sa dira ka mo kgao ke lo lo ke lo laetseng ka teng lo alesa bana ba ba simane ba ba ka bana le tshabo mo so farao a ba botsa nson ba ka bana le tshabo mo thateng ya ga mo thateng ya ga farao ya selefatse bana le tsha le tshabo mo modimo wa le godimo a ba ha re fika mo ba sadi ba ba heberu ga ba tshwanele ba sadi ba ba egepeto bana le maatla a modimo sa itse maatla a modimo sa itse tsweng ba belega ko ntle ga tsa mohlodi thero mo moshong mo ntla wa le tsatsi from the exodus chapters 1 e in the midwives midwives ha ke le belela go re tswanteng as the christian woman ministries ke nna le temana e o gore ke lona mo sebakeng sena modimo a le laetseng gore lo go pelegisa e seng fela as the him fela as the hebrew women e seng fela as the egyptian egyptians women lo go pelegisa mo mo le le nteng e matla mo mo song o montle wa letsatsi the christian women ministries go tlontsene tsa le fathi le fathi ka le fokola gago the spirit spiritual away kening the spiritual obedience matla lo tsebe gare ga kere ka morena Jesu 
ene luna lo pelegisang mo go le nthata teng ga reng teng ga reng ga bomme ba ba dusing on the food stool le eba ya ma ya ku tlo botlope ba ba le motlaseng ga tiriso ya di drugs ke luna ba o se meet wise mo le tshwanetseng lo mo le tshwanetseng lo lebe ka matlo a semoya of christ ma o tlele botlhokwa ga kreste a ne mo go luna lo tsa se ba ka se modimo wa rona as the meet wives modimo meet wives modimo ga reng ga se tshaba kreste jeso so 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 hloka nkhuso modimo ga reng ga the pandemic in bo me kreste jeso ba o ba sinantsa bo modimo wa rona who are always on their knees not to fail not to fail fall on any feathers ba bisa le bisa le biso la modimo wa le godimo le lefatse ga reng le ba o ke ba ba le mo go tsona kreste jeso is oh not only because of the midwife go belegisa ga bo reng ga di labor pains bo reng ga di labor pains modimo le bile tsa as the midwives of se tshaba sa Israel ba o akileng a ba ikhatela the hebrew woman the manner and custom of the bible as a hebrew woman ke mosadi ya 10 ke mosadi ya thata ke mosadi ya sinantsabo lo khale ka 1956 bo mo radia joseph apate ha ba bona ku tlo botlhoko e ba le mo go yona ha le mo go yona ha ba bona se ba ka se o ba le mo go sona sa le fatsa le fatsa le o ba phelela mo go lona ba ya go go moshe go go sona re ya hloka empa re ya rona ini we cannot have access to have access mo tse o re rona re tlogeletseng tsona bona ka le ba kala gore we are the hebrew women hela a modimo a mo laela gore a ba fetetlelelo ya tse o ra bona ba tlogetseng tsona wherever we are wherever we are as the midwife of christ Let us go with bold hearted. Let us go risk kamela masisi. Ja ka bomme ba ba Kriste. A re yeng re sna tsa bo bomme ke pa ke di pa ke ntsa bo look ba ke ntsa bo look ile lo tsa ba moteng. Go sna tsa bo Kriste le selo la la kgolegela go se mampuru go na le kutlo botlhoko le selelo se selelo ke bomme ba o ba leng mo ba o ba leng mo kutlo botlhokong ya se o ba tshanetse ba tshanetse ba se tshole lo tlile mo go bona Kriste Jesu ga ona lo ba rala re Jesu ke mo rena le mo phurusi wa ba phelo a bone lo a kokotha modimo wa rona mo di gareng ga di mo di gareng ga di mitse go Kriste Jesu mo go le ntlala le le yo raboteng yo raboteng go ya go belegisa ka se o lo nang shot go bontle ba le tsatsi as the meat wise ba o lo tshwanela ke gore le go belegisa gareng ga kere ke a mo rena Jesu ka kere ke a mo rena Jesu ka le fokola Kriste e de this garment re sna tsabo ja ka the Hebrew woman the vigorous woman ba o ba sna ntsabo mutsabo modimo wa re laela bo boshong o bontle wa letsatsi the Kriste the Christian woman ministries gore re the meet around ga reng ga bana ba mpa modimo wa rena when the cyber bullying is overwhelming modimo wa re laela bo boshong mo ntle letsatsi bo shong mo ntle letsatsi gore re tshonetse re nne teng re aroganye aroganye Kriste Jesu re ipiletse go modimo modimo re gabe re felise di ntelo le mathata le fatshelelo re bo golone modimo wa re laela as the meet wife tse di pelo kha tse di pelo khale bo boshong o bontle wa letsatsi khutlontse ne tsa le fatse ga re ga di kokelo le government organizations di bo magetleng around the god spirit destination u le tsibile lo sa le popelong lo isa le popelong lo isi no tsibi gore you are the christian woman le tsa go gheda ka boya o ghalalelang modimo wa le lela bo boshong o bontla wa le tsatsi mo khwedi e khetegileng ya bomme gore lo go pe gore lo go pelegisa mo go le lisifiteng le sello sa ku tlo botlhoko modimo wa rona bone setsang la Kriste Jesu re ya go leboga bodimo wa rona ka le fokole da re ya go leboga ba ba le betlelo a rona ha re le de meet wife bo ba tshelo bo ba tshelo a le fatshele re tshelela mo go lone ha re le de ha re le de meet wife ga reng ga di kantoro tso re berekela mo wife bodimo wa rona ga reng ga se tshaba se o re tshelela mo go tsone ga re na tshabo Kriste Jesu re ya kokotha bodimo wa rona kokotha bodimo wa rona we don't have towns we don't have the table table attributes o re ba tsa ditse ka Kriste ba le batshelo a rona maphelo a bana ba rona re bi di meet wife 
sa bo re ba rona re di mitse wa efu di morna sa go tlo botlhoko e le teng ga re se tlhoko e le teng ga re se gase tshaba sa rona a re tsweng re sena tshabo bodi le 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 bodi la batshelo a rona le bodi ba re bodi se di tselone as the midwife of christ re go belegisa bodi bo re belegisa bodi bo rona re tle re bone botshelo jo bo itu jo bo itu be di sa ka christ mo rena wa rona a tsogo fa tsele fokole o shogo botlo le tsase a borena a re tsogo fa tse a re boloke a borena a re phatsibetse tsa sefatla sa go re tshorele a borena a re tshelletse tsa sefatla sa go re ne tsa sefatla sa go re ne ka gisho amen hallelujah hallelujah is the highest praise bless the lord oh my soul and all that is within me bless your holy name let me thank mary ganyo for this powerful message reminding us to be like hebrew midwives and go out there to the world for your belegisa thank you mewaka for this wonderful message to bo make our fela this opportunity and greet bo make our fela and wish you a happy and a fulfilled women's month let me also greet all brethren in the wonderful name of our lord and savior jesus christ The Bible says God has made heaven his throne and the earth his footstool and this morning I come to his feet with humbleness and submission and say he is still God even today he is the same God yesterday today and forever amen as we continue with our day bo me we're going to find our scripture reading on 2 Corinthians chapter 10 Verse 3 to 6 When we have found it it reads as follows For though we walk in the flesh we do not war according to the flesh for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God bringing every thought into captivity of to the obedience of Christ and being ready to punish all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled brothers and sisters as we continue with the theme of hebrew midwives who carry the fruit of the spirit which is obedience i just want to draw you on to verse 6 that says and being ready to punish all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled brothers and sisters obedience is one of the hardest things yet important in anyone's lives i just want to give you a typical example of a child that you know as parents we have expectations on our children and one of those expectations is for them to obey us we want them to listen to us We want them to do as we say. We want them not to break the rules. And why? Because we want them to be better people. We want what is best for them. And when they don't listen to us or don't obey us, we become frustrated, sometimes disappointed, other times angry to even a point where we want to punish them. Brothers and sisters, I believe the same obedience we are looking for in our children is the same obedience that our Lord is looking for from us. Brothers and sisters, today we live in difficult times of COVID-19. For some of us, we might be facing a dry season or a windy season or dark or even slippery season. And for some of us, we might be facing a, rain, a rainy season. or even sunshine and you know brothers and sisters it is very much easy to be obedient to god when we go through harvesting when we go through rainy season when we see the sunlight in front of us but our obedience is tested when we go through difficult times when we face persecution when we face suffering when we go through spiritual warfare when our season is dry windy dark or slippery and yet we need to still remain obedient to god one may ask a question why do we obey god brothers and sisters obedience is an act of worship 
It is our duty. It shows the flow from the heart of the gratitude for the grace that we are experiencing whenever we go through difficult times. The word of God says his grace is sufficient for us. And if we remain obedient, it shows that we are really grateful for the grace that is so abundant, that is sufficient for us when we're facing warfare, persecution and suffering. And it also shows our gratitude towards the work of the cross where Jesus Christ died for us and paid the price and we have been forgiven and we have been redeemed and we have been received free salvation. Brothers and sisters, obedience is a demonstration of our faith to God, a demonstration that we trust in him, that we do not rely on worldly weapons. We do not rely on weapons that are canal but we rely on weapons that are mighty in God to cast down every stronghold and set us free. Through our obedience, we can bring others closer to God. The Bible says we are the ambassadors of Christ and we should go out there and fulfill the greatest commission and bring others closer to God. Mary Ganyo has already indicated that we should be like the midwives who were out there we're trusting and believing in God. We should go out there with boldness. But I also add that we should go out there with obedience. Now you may ask, how can we obey God? Number one, brothers and sisters, we need to love God with all our hearts, minds, soul, and strength. Number two, we need to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. These two are the greatest commandments that Jesus Christ himself have left for us brothers and sisters the word of god in john 14 verse 15 says if you love me you will keep my commandments brothers and sisters the third point is that we need to continuously pray and we need to continuously read his word brothers and sisters his word will bring our thoughts to the captivity of the obedience of christ brothers and sisters the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty in God. His word is truthful. His word is faithful. He says, my sheep hears my voice. We can only hear his voice when we remain in prayer. We can only hear his voice when we read his word and expand our relationship by continuously being obedient to him. Brothers and sisters, now going back to the first scripture of Exodus chapter 1 verse 15 to 19 we look at the two midwives shifra and poor who have experienced in today's term the spiritual warfare in their career where the king of egypt has asked them to do something unethical something that is so immoral but we hear from the word of god that they feared god they feared god and listened to him and they did not do what the king of Egypt con commanded them to do because they knew that greater is he that is in them than the one that is in the world. And God rewarded them with the wisdom to be able to answer the question of the king when he was asking them, why are the sons of the Hebrews are alive? Brothers and sisters, in conclusion, 1 Samuel 15 verse 22 to 23 tells us that Obedience is better than sacrifice. May God help us to remain obedient in him. And as the midwives, let's go out there and sing together. Hosanna 226. May God bless his word in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we just want to glorify you. We just want to magnify your holy name. We just want to thank you for your word. The Bible says your word is alive. We thank you, Lord, that your word is alive in our lives. We thank you that your word is the lamp unto our feet and a light to our path. Father God, we just want to thank you. Formulate our how, O Mutle, 
or rutang hori rebedi midwives in tatuaka that carry the obedience as the fruit of the spirit my god we just want to come before you and honor you father god with all our actions our thoughts and our words mudimaka er haritwa rile bo meria ko ntle ro belegisa morenaka re tsa mairetshwere a weapon that is mighty in God, Muranaka, to cast down every stronghold, Muranaka, and bring every thought to the captivity of the obedience of Christ, Muranaka. Reruto Horlerona remain obedient to you, Muranaka, during difficult times, Muranaka, that we carry the powerful weapon that is your word, Mudimuaka. Muranaka, Ralebo Hatsoche, Muranaka, Ralebo Helalona, Muduro Omutla was a fapano, Mumurana Joso are regilen ka madi a gage madi a phelang ana le matla morenaka madi a re tlhatswang dibe modimo wa ka madi a re fodisa modimo wa ka re ya le boha modimo re le boha wena ho tsotsohle morenaka tse tsa halang re tshepile wena re bitsa le bitso le letle fela la ha morenaka re bitsa molinelang tate le la morwa le moyo halelang amen